so much can be said about the merits of the Skoda rapid lift back that its shortcomings are simply lost in the positive. But the noble Czech had and still has punctures. Rumors about the sinlessness of rapid, apart from the history of the notorious dry DSG7, turned out to be slightly exaggerated. A car for the secondary market is very interesting, and if you follow the simple rules for buying it, you can make a true friend for a long time. The first rule, we check the history of cars that could theoretically work in a taxi with the corrosiveness of an investigator. And if under the hood, in addition, there is a three-cylinder gasoline aspirated 1.2 MPI for 75 forces, then there is no need to check. In addition, such a motor with a twinkle will not give you a ride. Vile of odd. Rule 2, if somehow you are convinced that it is worth buying a car with a turbo engine, 1.0 DSI, 1.2 DSI or 1.6 EDI, do not regret a few hundred or even as for diagnosing a turbocharger in an official service. We are sure that on runs after 100,000 km you will definitely not like changing the turbine. We boldly give our recommendation to 1.6 MPI engines. Before the 2015 update, it was a 105 horsepower unit with a timing chain, and, apart from this chain and very early problems with a piston, a quickly stopped childhood illness, it has nothing to lose. Incapable of big meanness, motors 1.6 after the update, 110 horsepower, with a timing belt, even better. You can pinch your wallet on little things, oil seals, a belt, an engine support pad. The most reliable pair of transmissions, MKP5 and AKP6 Ison, also work with these motors. These, together with motors, plow up to 250,000 km without repair. The Rapida body will rust today if the car was in an accident. The interior is also nothing to complain about. Even crickets are not frequent guests. The upholstery of the outer edge of the driver's seat is overwritten but who is not without sin. In the cold, the speakers of the stereo system fail, well, you can change them to insulated ones. It happens that foam filler cracks under the seat upholstery. Unpleasant. But suspension replacements are predictable. The main misfortune was the creaking stabilizer bushings. But the problem seems to have been resolved. It's too early, after 30,000 km, the shock absorbers fly, but the ball ones go more than hundreds. The main thing is not to overload the car because the giant trunk will provoke it in every possible way. Trechka 1.2 MPI requires higher speeds, 112 newton meters, therefore, before others, it will ask for a replacement of the timing chain, up to 100,000 km it will begin to qualify for a piston bulkhead. But the cost of each reinforced piston on the chain door as dialing 1.6 MPI, 105 horsepower, is 200 to 250 dollars. Possible flaws in the updated 1.6 are oil burner and oil leaks through the camshaft seals in the timing area. The seals themselves are cheap, but the work will require costs. A manual gearbox, despite its commendable reliability in general, sometimes leaks oil through oil seals, hums with the input shaft bearing, and every 70 to 100,000 km requires replacement of the clutch kit. There have been cases of overheating for Japanese ice and automatic transmissions, although not often. The valve block on them will cost under $1,500. And the cost of a new box, about $7,000. Horror. Shock absorbers will live noticeably longer if you do not overload the car. Consumables, stabilizer bushings and silent blocks of the rear beam. Ball joints go 100,000 km. They can be inexpensively replaced separately from the lever. Front knocking when turning on the left is a common symptom of engine mount failure. Brakes, pads and discs are changed on typical runs, 40 and 80,000 km. The squeak of door seals is a fairly common misfortune. All the same seals, blocking the door drains, can turn the door cavities into a water collector. It happened that 3 liters of rainwater were drained from here. The most dangerous area of the body in terms of corrosion is the area around the wheels. And the grill simply requires an internal understudy grid. Otherwise, not a cheap radiator is seriously affected. Depending on the year of manufacture, problems with the VU software that can be fixed by flashing may appear. An incorrectly inserted cigarette lighter during assembly can cause a blown fuse. Many complain about the noise from the air conditioner, which ends with the installation of a new compressor. 